What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Abriel BTV, right here in Atlanta, Georgia, at the ninth annual Atlanta Food and Wine Festival. I've been to every single one of them since the beginning and I keep coming back because I like the people of this event. It's a really fun group, It's uh, I just have a really good time. Most people drink it as a dessert wine, mm -hmm. but it's also some really good things about it. It's a very it has a sweet taste too. Yeah, so it has a sweet taste but it also has a dry finish. making mocktails out here today. I am, so just crafted non-alcoholic cocktails. And so why did you guys decide to choose that drink? Sure, so I personally made the choice to become a non-drinker almost five years ago, and never did I think I could enjoy a space like this. So three years ago, we created a mission-based project uh, really to help create a safer, more inclusive drinking culture, and working with environments like this provide alternative options for expecting mothers, non-drinkers, or those just taking a break. Let's taste it, let's taste it. Let's taste it. Mmm. It's just still really good. Mm. It's really nice, refreshing. It is. It's being really nice. Yeah, just being really, really hot. And so, as the years go on, what would you say, um, as a business owner, you know, when people come try your food, has that been better for business? Tell us about that. Yes, it, it grows revenue because people come through and taste your food who never heard of you, you know nothing about your business, so it just opens their eyes to you. Yes, what is your special dish you're making out here today? Seafood salad. And what's all in it? Shrimp, clams, mussels, black eyed peas. Yes, it's really good. It's really good. And so, your sliders have been the talk of the wine festival. I know I had a few. Tell me, what are your sliders consist of? What's inside of them? Well, they're, they're uh, of course, ribeye, filet mignon, and then mushroom, cremini mushrooms. So we do the cremini mushrooms in there to cut back on, to basically be more sustainable. So I took the Louisiana barbecue sauce and Alabama barbecue sauce and fused those together, and that's where we came up with the landmass uh, slider. Perfect.